Yeah, I told my dad I wasn't going to be drinking anymore, and he was like, mm, I make you drink. You tell me why you don't drink. I don't understand. It's <laughs> very confusing. Very, very confusing. I actually did uh, my ancestry DNA to find out just how pickled my liver was. 90% vodka. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a girl made up of sugar and spice and swear not this. It's awesome. But yeah, I think my father would have taken better if I had told him I was gay. I think that would have gone over better with my dad. But nope, I just came out as straight and sober. So disappointing pops. Yeah. Yeah, which which may explain uh, why the ringtone on his phone now when I call is somebody I used to know. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not a mom, but I'm an aunt. Any aunts or uncles here today? Give mm -hmm. it up. We matter to you. <laughs> we matter to you. I think we do anyways. But I, uh, I love my nieces and nephews. I really, really do. I love hanging out with them. And uh, we were having lunch today, me and the younger ones. And uh, my, I was asking them, you know, what, what's your favorite dessert, guys? What do you like for dessert? And my niece, who's two, she piped up and she said, it's you, Auntie Kelly. That's cute, that's a cute answer. My nephew, who's five, said gumdrops. Not a bad treat, it's not a bad treat, but it is the way to be written out of my will, Cohen, so. <laughs> Listen to your sister, she knows what's up. <laughs> Yeah, but they said, no, no, Auntie Kelly, it really is the Sahara Desert. I was like, ah, womp womp, Sahara Desert. It's like, you can use that in your set tonight. It's like, who the hell are you, my therapist? What's going on? What is happening? I, um, I fell in love during the pandemic. I know we're still in the pandemic, but over the past years, I did find love, which is great. Thank you for not acknowledging that. <laughs> It is all good. I um, I met my boyfriend in a Zoom meeting. I didn't say Zoom. I said Zoom. <laughs> I really did. And for like seven months, we were just Zoom dating. That's all we could do because he lives in California, and uh, I live here in Toronto. So when my friends were asking Kelly, "What is the new guy like?" All I could say was, "He's 1080 pixels." <laughs> He renders nicely, <laughs> you know? But uh, we did get to meet, at long last, we did get to meet, which was amazing. It was great, because when we did, he dumped me. Oh. What the fuck? A total loser, thank you. Yeah, a complete loser. Couldn't get it. But you know what, apparently those Zoom gods were correct. You know, apparently they were. Yeah, our connection was unstable. So. <laughs> I like that joke. <laughs> but uh, we basically became friends with benefits. Like, that's what it turned into. It is the best. <laughs> it is. But you know what? He disagreed with me. He was like, no, we're not friends with benefits. I was like, whoa, what are we not agreeing to here, buddy? That we're friends? Or that sex with me is a benefit. <laughs> I don't understand. You know, or maybe, maybe because he's American, he just freaked out over the word benefit. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Anyways, I've been Kelly Zemeckis, guys. Thank you so much for having a great day.